Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Gilligan's Island. More specifically about an episode of Gilligan's Island where you're going to see a few hidden devices in this episode. A few that you have never seen before and that's the best part of the type of videos that I make. That when I point out these easter eggs, these hidden things, and you finally see them, you can never unsee it. And that's one of the best moments ever because you can carry this to others and it also helps to enhance watching of TV shows just like this. So let's get right into it. The episode that I'm talking about is Please Pass the Vegetables. It's from season three and let me tell you, I absolutely love this episode. I do know from making episodes on Gilligan's Island, making videos on it, that a lot of you really, really love this episode as well. So I'm happy to bring it to you again and talk about this. So what is this episode about? Well, Gilligan and the Skipper are trying to fish at the lagoon and they find or they fish this huge box. Now in this box, they open it up and they uncover all these seeds. Now all these seeds, uh, there's a different variety, different types of seeds, and they're all vegetables. So everything from carrots to spinach to artichoke, it's so many different things that they miss on the island that they didn't normally have that now they're thinking, oh my goodness, we can grow all these veggies and eat them. And they thought, wow, we never realized how much we missed vegetables. Unfortunately, no one noticed that the cover on the box said that these seeds are experimental and radioactive. So of course, this being Gilligan's Island, we have some unexpected results. Everyone begins to notice that the castaways are acting differently. All of a sudden, Mrs. Howe has got some super speed. Gilligan has some super strength. Marianne even has super sight. All this is because of the veggies that are associated with the in individuals who are eating them. All the castaways realize that they have particular veggies that they like. For example, Gilligan really loves spinach. Of course, spinach gives you super strength, right? If they are radioactive. If we continue with Marianne, she has supervision because of all the carrots that she likes. Mrs. Hal, sugar beets, all that sugar gives her so much speed and so forth. And what's great about this is that no one notices that this is absolutely insane, crazy, and impossible until they notice that these seeds are radioactive. Therefore, the veggies are radioactive and they could possibly die. So they have all this radiation inside of them. The skipper, professor, everyone's trying to come up with a plan to get rid of this radiation and essentially get better. The professor comes up with an idea to eat soap. Now he does and mentions that he's able to make soaps from a lot of the plant fibers that are on the island, get them together, and with the oils making the soap and the fats and so forth. However, they have to eat this soap and the soap makes everyone produce all these bubbles in this fantastic scene and the whole hut gets filled up bubbles. So I am sure that you remember this episode. Now, how did they make these bubbles? Well, if you pay attention, look right over here in this scene with the skipper and Gilligan, look at this yellow hose that was used behind Gilligan. What's in that hose? Well, it's a mixture of water and soap. And as it is pushed through and blown through the hose, you get bubbles. So it's not Gilligan that's actually blowing them with his own mouth, with his lips. It's the hose and the hoses behind him. And with that depth perception of how they place the camera, where they place the hose, then it's just blowing out of the hose and it looks like it's coming out of his mouth. That applies to all the castaways. But what is great is that they didn't do the blocking, that is the blocking of his body, Gilligan's body, to the actual hose. And so you can see the yellow hose peeking out from the back of his red shirt, which I think is pretty awesome and funny at the same time. Now, my favorite is this scene with Marianne because it's not a straight side angle like it was with Gilligan and the Skipper. It's kind of a 45 degree angle where we are looking at Marianne and we can see her speaking and the bubbles are coming out, but you can actually see a metal piece behind her. Now, this metal piece is a frame that was used in a bubble machine. You know these automatic bubble machines that spin and automatically make bubbles? Well, that's essentially what it was. It would spin, it would turn, air would be blown through. You have uh, some type of mixture of water and soap and then the bubbles would come out. But you could see the metallic, essentially, device, the hidden device that was used. It 
little bit, a little bit, it peeks through. And it's great to be able to see them. I mean, for me, it does not destroy the illusion of the actual show. It makes it more fun, makes it more exciting to be able to see these things. And it just makes it more fun. You remember, I always say this, or I try to say this as often as possible, Gilligan's Island was a type of live action cartoon. So whenever you say, how come this happened? Well, you're asking the wrong question. That's like asking, how does Bugs Bunny or Daffy Duck live after they're shot by Elmer Fudd? Again, it's a cartoon. If you look at the Marx Brothers, they use zany things like Harpo Marx. He pulls a flamethrower, literally like a flamethrower out of his pocket and lights a cigarette with it. How is that possible? No one asks, but when Gilligan's Island does it, how they have so much clothes and all this stuff, why can't they get off the island? It's a live action cartoon and it makes it so fun, so zany and truly one of the best shows of all time. In my opinion, the best show of the 1960s. Thank you so much for your support. Have you seen this? Have you seen these little bloopers in this episode where you can see these hidden devices? Absolutely love stuff like this. Love bringing it to you. We'll see you all next time. Don't forget to browse the channel over 1,700 videos for you to enjoy. Hopefully, we'll see you very soon next time. Don't forget, everyone, no matter what, to always stay positive and, most importantly, be hopeful. A really big thank you to all my Diamond Tier patrons. Jerry D, Stacy L, Scott R, Citizen Kane 359, Jennifer P, David D, Kevin K, Sally N, and Vito L. If you want to be on this list or receive exclusives as a great way to support the channel, visit my Patreon description below. Thank you.